What does the assassination attempt on President Trump have to do with the last days? Welcome to the last dispensation. You're living in it. This recent incident, thank God he is alive. I loved how he put his fist up like you can't. (laughs) You're not going to take me down. I know that this man is genuine. I just, I feel it in my guts. He's genuine. Um, so this incident involving gunshots at a Trump rally in Pennsylvania raises questions about its potential significance in the context of the last days. I was in tears, brothers and sisters. Ask Nicholas, I was unconsolable and I was thinking about our constitution. Is this a, is this a milestone? Is this something that maybe we needed to endure as a nation to make us stronger? And what does this have to do with eschatology and the beliefs of our eschatology? Here's a detailed analysis of how this event might be interpreted in relation to the concept of the last days. In the Latter-day Saint and Christianity tradition, the last days refer to a period preceding the end of the world, but not the end of the world, the end of this carnal world and the beginning of a new cycle, a new birthing, uh, the second coming of Jesus Christ being the major event that will usher that in. This period is often characterized um, by significant turmoil, conflict, and notable events that are seen as signs of approaching end times. Have we had symbolic figures assassinated that were close to being president of the United States Uh, the leaders of the free world and even the leader of the free world. Yes. But let's look at some potential connections to the last days in some interpretations of eschatology, significant political figures and leaders play crucial roles in the unfolding events of the last days. This shooting that just happened I would say less than an hour ago from the time that I am saying this, uh, a prominent figure like Donald Trump, who was our 45th president of the United States of America, could also be seen as a symbolic event, potentially aligning with prophecies about turmoil, conflict involving world leaders, violence, unrest uh the scriptures particularly in books of daniel revelation speak of widespread violence and unrest as signs of the times of uh getting close to the second coming of jesus christ now i'm not saying that things like this assassination attempts of presidents and world leaders has happened many times in the past throughout even the last 2000 years from the time of, of, of Christ's resurrection. But, but could this shooting at a political rally be viewed maybe potentially and in part of a broader pattern of a pattern that could increase as time unfolds into more violence and societal instability. Let's talk about persecution and martyrdom. Uh, This could go either way. I'm thinking this is a milestone or a, you know, the prophet uses hinge point. Could this be a hinge point where we have paid some farthing of, uh, where things have to get better now. 
this was not obviously Heavenly Father did not want this man to be taken out yet. So I would even maybe interpret this as surviving persecution. While President Trump is not a religious martyr, the attack on him could be seen as part of a broader, much broader narrative of persecution and conflict. It's almost as though we are paying some farthing so that things could get better. Matthew 24, 6 through 7 says, You will hear of wars and rumors of wars. Nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. There will be famines and earthquakes in various places. Now, this passage speaks to a time of great upheaval and conflict. And then I have a friend. I, I, I have to throw this in here. <laughs> But Revelation 13, 3, because he believes that Trump is not a good person. But my friend who thinks this is a good person and says, look at Revelation 13, 3, where it says one of the heads of the beast seemed to have had a fatal wound, but the fatal wound had been healed. The whole world was filled with wonder and followed the beast. I believe that is symbolic, uh, hyperbolic, and not. Speaking of, of Trump, I look at this hyperbolically. I interpret this symbolically and not have anything to do with Trump. But some could draw parallels between a significant leader being attacked and then surviving and the broader narrative of miraculous recoveries and the rise of influential figures like Trump. But let's contextualize this and bring it all together. It's alarming, and uh, I don't believe, I believe that Trump is, is a good person. I personally do, and, I, and this could be significant. It is important. It's essential to approach interpretations like this with caution, and when I bring up my friend's uh, interpretation, I don't feel that myself that that is what that is it's interesting so i kind of had to hit on that a little bit but the connection to the last days could be very spec largely speculative and it depends on one's theological perspectives but i knew i know this is true brothers and sisters this right here is true this political climate is bad right now and the current political climate in our nation, it's highly polarized. We see this in the church as well. The acts of violence at events like this, we haven't seen this since Ronald Reagan. That was the last, and he was president of the United States. We haven't seen any attempts. Now, I've heard of attempts on Donald Trump that we didn't see but I don't know much about that. But if you think about it, 1982, was it? It was 1981 that Ronald Reagan, uh, his, the attempt on his life was made. So this isn't more tragic. It's not unprecedented. But it's been a long time. Uh, and I've said before throughout history, many leaders have faced assassination attempts and attacks and events like this do not necessarily reflect uh, or indicate a direct fulfillment of eschatological prophecies I know that I just want to say this isn't shocking um, but I'm thankful that he is alive I don't believe he is an antichrist. I don't, that's me personally. But I thought I would, you know, raise the question for those who might want to look at things in a, at a different perspective. Um, but viewing this from an eschatological lens, I think it's crucial to recognize that this could be something beneficial 
And I mean, is this something that's going to bring us closer together? Is it something that is going to open doors up for the righteous, those who have been praying for this nation, praying for this president, praying for our constitution? I don't know. I've never been a Trump uh, fanatic. And I don't know for sure who he is and his character. But I do know, as I saw him stand up and put his hand up, I see a man who is not done yet. And I felt his vigor. I felt his, his reach to the people of the United States of America who were chanting USA, USA. I do believe in some aspects that there are some prophetic themes, that there are some, uh, there are hinge points as far as persecution is concerned and how a, a people are raised to higher heights and that the Lord is more mindful of those who have endured much. And we have endured much through this administration. And I'm talking economically and uh, through the days of COVID even and, and uh, the middle class has seen a hard hit on them. And just morally, our, our level of energy and spirituality is, is maimed right now. So it is crucial, I believe. I believe that this event does resonate with some prophetic themes. And I do believe it's significant in the context of a last day's reminder to us. It does remain a matter of personal belief and interpretation. But let's not ignore that this might be a game changer, brothers and sisters, as far as the Lord is concerned. And our prayers reaching the Lord of Sabaoth.